So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you Drone Link. Now, if you don't know what Drone Link is, Drone Link's a third party app, a bit like Litchi, a bit like the Maven app, does the same sort of thing. It's not as old as the Litchi app. I think the Litchi app is probably the most well established app out there for a third party app. But in today's video, I thought I'd just show you, um, we'll talk about the Drone Link app first, and also we'll take up a test flight if it's possible. I've got my Mini 2 drone with me. I've got my RCM one. Now I'm using my Android. I'll tell you a little bit more about that in a moment. So drone link. Now drone link's more to do with 3D planning and all that map planning. You can do 3D models with it as well, but its main avenue is the 3D map planning, uh, which you can do obviously with the Litchi and the Mavin, but this goes into more depth and obviously that's why the price is a little bit steeper. I'll just go through some of the pricing on it. Now I thought really it's a little bit deceptive. So when you, t if you think about getting drone link, you need to read it properly, guys. So what I've done, I've got the hobbyist plan. Now you, you got two options. You have either the hobbyist or the professional. But as soon as you click into the hobbyist, you've got uh, either basic, which is, I presume, a bit like the Litchi app, I suppose. And it's twenty four ninety nine. Now another thing, I thought was a little bit naughty, is that's not including the tax on it. Now this is in euros. So on top of that, you got IVA, and if you want the premium, um, this is the one that I took out, which was forty nine ninety nine plus IVA. So the total comes to sixty forty nine. Now I think they should have just put the whole total. I just think you know, I think people like to see what. With Litchi and Mavin, you, you're told the price. And I'm just going to go a quick run through on the Litchi. It's got, I can't believe how windy it is. Um, so the Litchi app, now unfortunately I can only get it in dollars because obviously it must be an American site. So if you wanted the Litchi app, at the present moment it's $24.99. And if you wanted to buy the Mavin app, now this is to do with the iOS because they, they've got two separate apps for the Mavin. So the iOS is $17.99. And if you want to use it on the Android, it's, it's called the Mavin Lite. It's a lot cheaper. I couldn't find a price for it because unfortunately I've downloaded it already. So it couldn't give me a price. But I would imagine you're probably talking about $15 maybe. But with the Mavin Lite, it hasn't got as many features that you would do on the iOS. Now, the problem is now, DJI has already said they're going to drop iOS very soon and it's just going to be on Android only and I think this is another a good avenue for the third party apps because obviously um, I wanted to fly my Mini 3 Pro on my Litchi app which you can do I'm not sure, sure about the Maven app not a lot of information on the Maven app I do like the Litchi app you, do, you get updates uh, and a little bit of information but to fly the Mini 3 Pro on the Litchi, you have to be a beta tester. Now, it's the same with Drone Leak. You have to be a beta tester, especially for the RCN1. Um, as far as I know, you can't fly it on the RC itself. I might be wrong on that, but as far as I know, you can't. You, you need the RCN1. Um, oh, it's obviously the RCN2. I, I wouldn't have thought you could do that. But anyway. The problems they're having at the moment, the beta testers, is um, it's losing its signal, um, it's blacking out, and the, the other main problem they're having, and it's that they're obviously in contact with DJI, is as soon as you like, use the things like waypoints, it's knocking off the obstacle avoidance. So I suppose the reason why Litchi and Mavin haven't let it out yet is because they're worried about that they might get sued or something, I don't know. It's been going on, Litchi, as far as I know, had gone right back to June of last year. I tried to be a beta tester. I've been to Litchi for years. 
I've, I mean, I've joined it, but I haven't been picked. So they must be picking the only certain amount of people around the world, I suppose, as testers. But obviously, they've still got problems because it's still not available yet. And it's the same with Drone Link. You have to be a beta tester um, to fly it. So, what I'll show you at the moment is um, what it looks like, Drone Links. You know, what you see on the screen. And then hopefully over the next month or so, I'll show you how to use the follow the uh, waypoints, the, the orbit, and obviously the mapping. But I just thought I'd just give you an idea what's included. So if you take out the hobbyist plan, which is the premium, so this is where it gets, like I said, it's a little bit confusing. So you go into the hobbyist plan, you then get two other options, either basic or premium. I'm going for the premium because you get a little bit more. Um, and what you get, you get advanced orbits, 3D planning, mission previews, orbit mode, mission plan, sharing. And then obviously with the basic, if you just took the basic out, it seems, say, DJI Mini goes from the spark and then the mini in the air. So it doesn't go as far back as, um, as well, as far as I know anyway. I might be wrong. I, might, I will try out the Phantoms, but it doesn't seem to say the Phantoms. Um, it does waypoints, pano missions, photo missions, the follow, um, on-fly functions, tutorials, the community forum. So, a lot on there, but even for the basic, I think, you know, 24.99 plus, I, so we're probably talking about 27, 28, Euro, 28 euros. I don't know. Anyway, I'll see what you think. We're just going to see if we can get the drone up. Cross fingers, because it is a little bit windy. <laughs> so what I'm going to show you now is what you can actually see on my screen, um, and what obviously I've downloaded. I paid my money, so I've got my paid version, which obviously sticks if you change your phone. Now one of the things it did come up with, I've got an old Hawaii, Hawaii, Harari phone, um, and it did say uh, it may not do all the full functions on it. So I don't, I don't particularly want to go out and buy another Android phone because I don't use Android really. But anyway, I just want to let you know on that. So we've just got to find the app. There it is, Drone Link. So it's just loading up now. Okay, and it's saying there, um, I've got the Polaroid glasses on, but it's saying um, using, this dr this, using this device may result in poor app performance. So I just understand that. Now that could be the same with everything. So you've got your screen there. Um, okay, so what I'm gonna do now, I'm just gonna turn on the drone. Now, thankfully, my, my mate Steve has sorted the drone out. I can just, just check, make sure we've got battery in yet. And now I can just press the button and the drone starts straight away. Okay, there it goes. God, I had so many problems with this drone. Anyway, I'm just going to put the drone out a moment. The whole point of this video is I just wanted to show you what's actually on the screen. And there's not, to be quite, there's not a lot really. Anyway, I've got to tap on, um, I've got 45% battery. So it's pretty basic. It's ready to, ready to go. You've got the top there, you've got your satellites, your RC, HD, all pretty full. So, we've got your, your video just over there. So, it's to take off, take off this time. Okay, we just take it up a bit. I just want to see um, what sort of control we got as well. I'm not going to show you any of the, the modes today. I just wanted to give you a, a, a basic idea of what you get on the Drone Link app. Okay, I'm just going to fly over there. And obviously, you've got to remember with the, the Mini 2, there's no obstacle avoidance. So I'll just make sure I've got 72 feet high there. Okay, so I'm just going to take it over to the... It says strong wind as well. So it's, it, that's coming up. It is strong wind as well. It's not just saying that. So I'm, I'm just going to bring it back. But it's just giving you a basic idea what you see on the screen. Some people say it's similar to... Um, 
the litchi. I don't, I don't think it is, but anyway, we'll see in a moment. We'll just bring it, bring it down. Now, obviously, remember with this type of drone, you've got to bring up the gim, gimbal, not like the new ones where it does it for you. With the Mini 2, unfortunately, it doesn't do that. So I'm just going to bring the drone down and land it. So I can turn off the video. Okay, so this is more about would you think about buying the Drone Link app? Uh, I'll give you, hopefully, give you some idea what's on that screen. Like I said, in the coming month, I'll be showing how to use the different modes, and obviously, at the end, we'll try out the 3D mapping. So, hope you enjoyed it. I'll catch you in another one. It's a windy day, but anyway, that's the way it is. So, as always, guys, just enjoy flying your drone, and I'll catch you on another one. Thank <music> you.